Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and today I just want to share my pregnancy update with you guys. I have been having trouble filming this video so hopefully um, I can get it up for you guys. But basically two weeks ago I went to my doctor's appointment and I was 15 weeks and 3 days. So every Friday I turn another week and I am currently 17 weeks pregnant. Now, if you didn't know I was pregnant, I did mention it in my February weekend vlog. And I'll leave the link down below to that video in case you want to watch it. And I'll also leave the timestamp of when I actually start talking about my pregnancy because I do mention a few other things. Um, so if you don't want to watch the whole vlog, again, I'll leave the timestamp next to the link of that video. So I did get a sonogram taken and I'll leave some pictures up on the screen for you guys just so y'all take a look at baby number two but it basically I want to take this time to just kind of fill y'all in in some of the symptoms that I had been feeling in my first trimester since I am currently in my second trimester already so a few of the symptoms that I did feel during my first trimester is definitely nausea I did have a lot of nausea and I did have nausea with Adoni in his pregnancy but I just feel like this one is just much more worse. I do still sometimes suffer from it. And it's mainly when either I haven't ate or I drink water too fast for some weird reason. Um, or different smells kind of cause me to feel nauseated. So nausea has definitely been one of those symptoms that has gotten to me. And another one I have to say is having headaches. I don't remember with Adoni ever having headaches and with this pregnancy it's like I had a headache every day and it was just a really bad headache that would also just make me feel sick and I don't know I just know that I didn't enjoy it as much but going into my second trimester I did notice that those headaches kind of did go away so currently I don't have any of those headaches anymore as I did in my first trimester so another pregnancy symptom that really got to me was my lack of energy and my tiredness. I just felt so, so tired. And with Adoni, I remembered I would sleep a lot. And with this pregnancy and having a baby, well, you can't really sleep. I would take advantage sometimes and go to sleep when Adoni would go to sleep. But either way, I just felt very tired. And it's one of the reasons why for a while I wouldn't really film um, all that much. But it's just because I just felt just no energy at all whatsoever and just to sit in front of the camera and film a video and talk to you guys just just seems so exhausting to me so that was one of the reasons why i didn't film all that much but like i said going into my second trimester some of these symptoms did tend to kind of go away now my eating habits have been okay there have been a few things that especially peas that i really dislike i don't like the smell of peas and i don't like the taste of peas at the moment so peas I just don't like at the moment um, I know there is something else that I can't really remember what it is that I don't really enjoy at this point but um, as far as like cravings and stuff I am craving lots and lots of watermelon I absolutely love watermelon um, and I remember I craved like lots of fruits and stuff with Adoni as well but right now it's just been watermelon I just want lots and lots and lots of it um, but other than that, my eating has been pretty good, I guess. I am trying to kind of eat healthy, kind of trying to. I really don't want to gain all that much weight with this pregnancy because with Adoni, I had lost some weight before and basically I gained it all back plus a little bit extra. So that's one of my main concerns is my weight along with getting digestional diabetes and preeclampsia and all that stuff so I am kind of trying to watch but not really limit myself um, my doctor did say that I could go on a diabetic pregnancy diet which I haven't really started on um, and basically it's just limiting yourself on eating certain carbs we'll see how that goes and hopefully I don't gain weight too too rapidly I do have to gain some weight, but I just don't want to gain as much as I did with Adoni. Even though with Adoni, I did gain less than 30 pounds, but even then, I just want to keep an eye on my weight. So as far as sleeping and all that, during my first trimester, like I said, I was extremely tired. And I did notice sometimes I would go to sleep earlier, right when Adoni would go to sleep. And sometimes he would go to sleep around 10. 
So I would go to sleep early sometimes and now it's not that way. I'm going back to my old habit where I kind of stay up late. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but hopefully I can start going to sleep early again because it really does make a difference. And I really do like to get up earlier rather than sleep in. Even though before getting pregnant, I could sleep in for like the longest time ever. Um, so yes, I totally love to sleep and all that, but having kids will totally change that. So as far as like mood and emotions, I find myself to be a little bit more cranky and kind of less patient than what I normally am, which kind of really does stink to me because I, you know, want to be more patient and all that stuff. So it's a kind of a struggle within myself to kind of just calm down and just take a deep breath and take it how it goes. Well, I don't know if this is a common symptom or not because when I did mention it to my doctor, she said it was kind of weird, but I kind of developed this weird itchiness and rash and it started out with me being itchy on my arms, especially when I would take a shower. And then after that, it would kind of turn into a rash. I will leave some pictures on the screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But then my legs would get itchy. I wound up getting a rash there. And then it progressed to my head and my neck being really itchy. Now, all that has kind of died down. But I did notice on one of my arms that it kind of looked a little bit more dry and itchy. So I'm not sure what it is. I did get extra blood tests drawn just so she can figure out what it is um and like i said she did mention that normally rashes are more common towards the end of the pregnancy so next update i will definitely let y'all know what it was since i am 17 weeks as far as feeling the baby move and all that um i'm not entirely sure what i've been feeling sometimes i do feel like butterfly movements in my belly but i'm not too sure i know they say the second time around, you kind of feel baby move more earlier. And I don't know if it's that or if it's just gas, but I'm hoping that it is a baby movie. So I think that's all that I have to update you guys on my pregnancy. And I just want to say before I end this video that I am going to be calling these preggy updates. I know it sounds a little funny and maybe even a little weird, but I thought it'd just give it a unique twist instead of just saying pregnancy update or belly bump update or whatever it is that I've seen out there and I haven't really seen preggy update so hopefully nobody's already taken it but like I said that's what I'm going to be calling these videos and I do want to mention to you guys because I know I've seen some pregnancy videos that don't really show their baby bump but since like I did mention earlier in the video that I did gain some weight so you can't really see my belly all that much and even with Adoni, I didn't really grow that much until the end of my pregnancy. But as soon as I start to show more, I'll definitely show y'all guys my baby bump. And I also do want to mention that each time I go to the doctor, I will be giving y'all a preggy update. And that's just so I can fill y'all in on some things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this preggy update. And I can't wait for the next preggy update. So please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you'd like to see more of my preggy updates. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on that button below. And subscribe to my channel and become part of my YouTube family. I would really appreciate it and love to have you on board. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!